Hey. Hmm? I, I'm going to buy you these books, I think, because I, I think you should read them. You know, instead of that cat book. That's uh, that's pretty serious stuff there. Yeah, because I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with uh, with death. I think it's a big yeah. big subject with me. Yeah. yeah, I have a very pessimistic view of life. You should know this about me if we're going to go out. You know, I I feel that life is is divided up into the horrible and the miserable. Those mm -hmm. are the two categories. You know, mm -hmm. the uh, the horrible would be like. Um, I don't know, terminal cases, you know, and blind people, yeah. crippled. I don't know how they get through life. It's amazing to me. You know, and the miserable is everyone else. That's, that's, so, so when you go through life, you should be thankful that you're miserable. Because that's, you're very lucky to, to <laughs> no. be miserable. Now, Charlie, give me a good Arnie, laugh here. The limousine to the track breakdown? <laughs> a little bigger. Do you realize how immoral this all is? Max, I got a hit series. Would yeah, I know, but you're adding fake laughs. Home so early. Arnie. Yeah, give me a tremendous laugh here, right Tommy. Do the show live in front of an audience. Right, but nobody laughs at it because the jokes down. aren't funny. Yeah, well, that's why this machine is dynamite. Honey, you better lie down. You've been in the sun too long. Yeah, uh, now give me a, like a medium-sized chuckle here. Yeah, and then a big hand. Is a boy on that? Oh, just think his girlfriend's beautiful. Yeah, she's great looking. Great. Little Ted on the androgynous side. But yeah, I, I forgot my mantra. Oh, really? They give awards for that kind of music? I put oh, just earplugs. Just forget it, Albie, okay? Let's I, just forget the conversation. They give awards. They do nothing but give out awards. I can't believe it. Greatest, greatest fascist dictator, Adolf Hitler. You see, right? You know, it's a rented car. And I, 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 I here. Don't oh, give me your life <laughs> story. Just... Pick up the license. Oh, pick up the license. You have to ask nicely, because I've had an extremely rough day. You know, my girlfriend... Just she... give me the license, please. <laughs> Since you put it that way, it's, it's hard for me to refuse. I have, a, I have a terrific problem with authority, you know? I, it's not your fault. Don't take it personal. Blancos, keep in touch. I've known her how long now? Seven years? Five years? I don't know what, how long. She's seen so many of my films, she's never seen Annie Hall. How could you have never seen Annie Hall? She, yeah, she it was people. long and tedious and... Yeah. Right. The Europeans, they like, they like pictures that drone on, and I'm good at making pictures that drone on. Harmony is hostility. Mm -hmm. It's rage. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to give that cliché speech. What is it that the comedian says when his jokes are going well? I murdered that audience. I killed him. He screamed. I broke him up. I had been on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson for nine years. Was that a good experience? Johnny Carson? Yeah. The best. We... Nobody at NBC, nobody, not one person, after nine years of going on Carson three and four times a year and killing It's a very difficult job. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they get it wrong. And with you, they missed it because nine years of killing on the Carson show. Dice is a friend of yours. Yeah, I had never met Dice. I, I went on stage at the comedy store in L.A., and he was on after me, and yeah. I hung out and watched him because I love watching Dice. Because right. at the comedy store in L.A., there'll be like 15 people in the audience, and he'll do two hours <laughs> of just crazy. brilliant, right. hateful stuff, <laughs> just ripping the crowd into pieces. <laughs>
are you? Death. What happens after we die? Is there a hell? Is there a God? Do we live again? All right. Let me ask one key question. Are there girls? You're an interesting young man. We'll meet again. Don't bother. It's no bother. You! Get out here! You're the worst soldier I ever seen! You ignoramus! Uh, ignoramus, sir. You want a dishonorable discharge? Uh, yes, sir. Either that or a furlough. God damn you, you love Russia, don't you? Yes, sir. Louder! Yes, sir. You like it here, don't you? Yes, sir. You want to make a career out of the army, don't you? Well, let's not get carried away. From now on, you clean the mess all and the latrine! Yeah, yes, sir. How will I tell the difference? Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, th three is next if you're having any trouble. <laughs> Who is this attractive and mysterious soldier? Boris Krushenko. Oh, sorry. I goose that lady. He has quite a sensitive face, hasn't he? That's just the part of me that shows. Krushenko. Isn't he the young coward all St. Petersburg is talking about? Not so young. I'm 35. The one who is so afraid for his own safety that he's reluctant to defend his country. He is in a bad mood, isn't he? What's the matter? Don't you like your seats? You must visit me for tea someday. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. It's okay with me. I'll bring the tea bags. You could run a quick check on your erogenous zones. But what about the Dybbuk? Why do you persist in taunting me in public? If you so much as come near the Countess, I'll see that you'll never see the light of day again. Uh, if a man said that to me, I'd break his neck. I am a man. Well, I mean, a much shorter man. <laughs> the question is, have I learned anything about life? Only that, only that human beings are divided into mind and body. The mind embraces all the nobler aspirations, like poetry and philosophy. But the body has all the fun. The important thing, I think, is not to be bitter. You know, if, if it turns out that there is a god, I don't think that he's evil. I think that, that the worst you can say about him is that basically he's an underachiever. After all, you know, there are worse things in life than death. I mean, if you've, if you've ever spent an evening with an insurance salesman, you, you know exactly what I mean. The, the key here, I think, is to, to not think of death as an end, but, but think of it more as a very effective way of, of cutting down on your expenses. Regarding love, you know, uh, what can you say? It's, it, it's not the, the quantity of your sexual relations that count. It's the quality. On the other hand, if the quantity drops below once every eight months, I would definitely look into it. Well, that's about it for me, folks. Goodbye.